A first year at six backlog in the courts, allowing accused criminals to walk freely until their day in court. Victims say this gives them the opportunity to commit more crimes. And it's not just one local court system that's overloaded. Fox 46 investigates found several counties are overwhelmed with cases. Fox 46 investigator Matt Grant is live in Gaston County. And Matt, some of these jury trials could take, what, up to two years to clear? Yeah, that's what some experts are saying, one to two years to clear all these cases. Here in Gaston County, a one high-profile criminal case involves a child sex offense. It's just one of many that we found on pause because of the pandemic. It's been two years since a Fox 46 investigation discovered the Census Bureau hired a registered child sex offender. Are you Kenneth Mabry? Yeah. I'm with Fox 46. We want to talk about your arrest. Kenneth Mabry was tasked with overseeing the Charlotte region. He was fired after he was arrested again, accused of molesting a nine-year-old girl. That case appears to have stalled. The last court filing was 18 months ago. Frustrating for the accuser's mother, who tells me she wants justice as soon as possible. So the old adage, right, uh, justice delayed is justice denied. Kathleen Nicolaides is a criminal justice professor at UNC Charlotte and a former federal prosecutor. She says the pandemic's impact on the courts is profound. In Gaston County, the district attorney tells me COVID-19 created, quote, a tremendous backlog of jury trials, which will resume this summer and take at least a year to catch up. Viewing it as losing an entire year of cases um, is terribly depressing, but things have certainly been impacted dramatically. In Mecklenburg County, there's also a significant backlog of jury trials. To address that, prosecutors are prioritizing cases like domestic violence and referring simple drug possessions to recovery agencies. Nicolaides expects to see more plea deals being made. Criminal cases present a unique challenge because of a defendant's constitutional right to confront witnesses. Mecklenburg County um, Chief District Court Judge Elizabeth Trosh says there's a backlog of over 3,000 DUI cases, something that's also taking a priority as judges try to clear the court clog. We are just doing business a little differently. In some ways, I think we are maximizing our court time um, and using that court time to act, you know, actively dispose of cases. Here in Gaston County, District Attorney Log Bell tells me he can't comment on any pending cases. That includes uh, Kenneth Mabry's. He is out on bond. I did reach out to Mabry's attorney, but did not hear back. We're live outside the Gaston County Courthouse, Matt Grant, Fox 46.